Hello! <laughs> this week we are going to explore Chattanooga pizza. So I'm going to cover all the local pizza joints in Chattanooga that are really great and I'm not going to tell you my favorite. I think I do have a favorite out of all these but they're all really good and they're all different so they're going to be favorites of different people for different reasons. So that is why I'm not going to like say this is my favorite because I want you to decide for yourself which one is the best. So I visited each of these seven places this month. Yes, it has been a busy month. It's been a little crazy. I have had a lot of pizza, but it's all been really good. So yeah, these are just in random order because like I said, I believe everyone has a different preference, especially when it comes to food and pizza is no different, right? So. I'm gonna let you decide which one you think is the best and you can let me know in the comments below. But for now, go ahead and get started with our first place. So first stop on our Chattanooga pizza journey is Pizza Bros. And as the name implies, it was started by two brothers who wanted to try a New York style pizza place in downtown Chattanooga. So their first location is in North Shore, and they now have three locations across the area. They are best known for their $5 special, which is a pint and a slice, which is their very own Bros Brew. And it is very good and well worth the money. Next up, we have Southside Pizza. This New York style pizza establishment is tucked away on Main Street in the South Side, hence the name. <laughs> they boast having the biggest pizza on South Side, which is 20 inches. Don't worry, they also sell pizza by the slice and they also have 16 inch options if you just want a slice because New York style pizza, you know, they're big slices. They're known for serving high quality pizza at fair prices. And by high quality, I mean like super fresh ingredients, everything made in house, including the sausage. Now it's time for Chattanooga Pizza Co. And yes, it is co, not company, well, it can be company if that's what you want it to be. <laughs> that is the idea behind the co is co means togetherness. So they want everyone to be together and you to make it your own. So if you want it to be company, it can be company. If you want it to be collective, it can be that. It can be community. Whatever you want the co to stand for, that's what it is. <laughs> They also serve some unique pizza combinations. There's something here for everyone. They're also well known for their buffalo cauliflower. So if you're vegan and you want like buffalo wings, but the cauliflower version, those are pretty good. So I've heard, I have not personally tried those yet, <laughs> but I have tried their pizza and can vouch for that. That is definitely very good. And speaking of vegan, they also make a lot of their vegan meats in house, which a lot of people find that hard to believe, but like their pepperonis, sausage, that sort of thing they make those in-house so that is pretty cool as well as many of their most of their ingredients as many of their ingredients as possible they make in-house all right moving on to loopies if you've been in chattanooga for a while chances are you have heard of loopies and probably have been there yourself because it is one of chattanooga's oldest local pizza joints they started in 1996 i was alive during that time i was not living here <laughs> But what they are most known for is the fact that they have their own farm, which they actually started when they started the business as well. So the idea is that their farm sources as many ingredients as possible to the restaurants, and that includes the produce and the meats. So that being said, they also use the restaurant waste to feed the pigs and compost for the garden on the farm. So they also work with other local farmers when they don't have enough you know for their restaurants and they just in general promote composting especially restaurant food waste and whatnot because they really want to help the environment keep things clean and do the best to recycle and reuse and keep everybody happy and here's a bonus segment from loopy's making their signature pizza that's really what it's called. It's one of their specialty pizzas that's on their specialty pizza menu. It's called the Signature and it is really good.
Where to next? Community Pie. This local pizza place is downtown and they serve three different styles of pizza. I'm talking your classic American, New York style pizza, Italian authentic Neapolitan pizza, and the not as popular but still American deep dish style pizza, Detroit. So no matter your pizza preference, Community Pie has something for you. They have your classics, including like classic toppings and some unique styles and they kind of mix things up, not something you would expect. Like their regular marinara sauce has bacon in it. That's pretty good. <laughs> But don't worry if you're vegan, they also have vegan options for you as well. And they're well known for their gluten-free crust that they developed themselves. That's actually a deep dish style crust. You're not really gonna find that anywhere else gluten-free. On to Pizzeria Cortile. This place is located at Red Bank and features a Neapolitan style pizza, which is cooked in a wood fire burning oven. The owner actually started out because he originally wanted a bakery, so <laughs> he ended up going with pizza because it's only one type of bread instead of like a bunch. So he developed his own pizza dough, he was taught by family members and other professionals, so it's really good. Everything made from scratch, and they also have very unique pizza toppings as well. But they also encourage you to make it your own. So they welcome any substitutions that you may want. They can do vegan style if that is what you prefer or any other kind of crazy like flavor combinations that you might think of. This pizza place is founded by a family and wants to cultivate a community of family. Bringing people together is the mission of this neighborhood pizza joint. And last but not least, we have Fiamma. If you want a truly authentic Italian pizza, look no further. Fiamma is as authentic Italian pizza as Chattanooga gets. We're talking Neapolitan style and the deep dish relative Sicilian style. This place is so Italian, they even import their ingredients from Italy. Well, not like the vegetables and stuff like that, don't worry. <laughs> but as many ingredients as possible, they actually import them from Italy. And the owner even went to pizza school in New York to like learn the true authentic Neapolitan pizza style. So this place is legit. <laughs> All right, that sums up the best pizza in Chattanooga. So who has the best pizza? Like I said before, I'll let you be the judge. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these places, which one is your favorite, why? I think we all have different tastes. There's so many different styles of pizza, even here in Chattanooga, which just is amazing to me. And they're all great for their own different reasons. So I definitely recommend all these places. I've tried all these places and no complaints for me. So for more details and like the specifics, locations, dietary restrictions, all the fun stuff, <laughs> check out the blog post link below. And that'll give you more details. This video is kind of just a summary of each of the places, but I really break down everything, a little more information about each of these places in that blog post, so you'll definitely want to check that out. And that is pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. What's that what I want to say? <laughs>